Ever wondered what life was like during the classical age, that golden era of ancient Greece and Rome? Picture yourself in a time when the foundations of our modern world were being laid around 500 years before the Common Era. This was the dawn of the Classical Age, a time when city-states were rising across the ancient Greek landscape. These city-states weren't just political entities, they were the breeding grounds for revolutionary ideas. Democracy, as we know it today, was born in these city-states, a radical concept that gave power to the people. Alongside this political revolution, a philosophical one was also underway. The minds of Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle began to question the world around them, laying the groundwork for Western philosophical thought. Their ideas have shaped our understanding of ethics, politics, and knowledge itself. As the sun sets on the Greek city-states, a new power rises in the West, Rome. From a humble city-state to a colossal empire, Rome's ascent was nothing short of extraordinary. Weaving through the threads of time, we find ourselves in the midst of Rome's transformation from a monarchy to a republic, around the 6th century BCE. The monarchy was overthrown, making way for a new form of government that would lay the groundwork for modern democracy. The republic was a complex system balanced on the shoulders of elected officials known as consuls, and a legislative body, the Senate. The consuls serving one-year terms were the executive heads, while the Senate, comprised of Rome's elite, held legislative power. This unique structure ensured a system of checks and balances preventing the concentration of power in single hands. But Rome's contribution was not confined to political structure alone. They were also pioneers in the field of law. Roman law, with its emphasis on the rights of individuals and property, has had a profound impact on modern legal systems. The famous phrase, innocent until proven guilty, can trace its roots back to Roman jurisprudence. Moving from the courtroom to the cityscape, Rome's architectural prowess is simply awe-inspiring. Imagine a city crisscrossed by aqueducts carrying life-giving water from distant sources straight into homes and public fountains. Picture roads, not simple dirt paths, but well-engineered highways connecting the farthest reaches of the empire. And who could forget the Colosseum, a testament to Roman engineering where gladiators and wild beasts entertain the masses. Each of these innovations in politics, law, and architecture reflect Rome's ingenuity and ambition. They were not just builders of cities, but builders of civilization, crafting a legacy that has endured for over two millennia. However, Rome's glory would not last forever, as the Republic would soon transform into an empire. As we step into the next chapter of our journey, we will witness the rise and fall of the Roman Empire and explore the spread of Hellenistic culture across the ancient world. But that, dear listeners, is a tale for another time. As Rome expanded, it absorbed the Hellenistic culture, spreading Greek ideas far and wide. This absorption began when Rome transitioned from a republic to an empire, a seismic shift in the world of politics and governance. The days of senatorial rule were dwindling as the rise of the first Roman Emperor Augustus marked a new era of autocracy. This shift wasn't just political, it was cultural too. As the empire grew, it absorbed the cultures of the lands it conquered. Among them, the Hellenistic culture of the Greeks was the most influential. Rome didn't just adopt Greek ideas, it championed them, it spread them. The Greek pantheon was syncretized with the Roman leading to the worship of Greek gods under Roman names. Zeus became Jupiter, Aphrodite became Venus. Not just in religion, the Greek influence seeped into language too. Greek became the lingua franca of the Eastern Roman Empire. But Rome didn't just take from Greece, it gave back too. The Pax Romana, a period of relative peace and stability throughout the empire, facilitated a cultural exchange like never before. Trade routes were safe, allowing for the movement of goods, people, and ideas. This was a time when Greek philosophy met Roman pragmatism, when Greek theater met Roman architecture, when Greek science met Roman engineering. A time when the best of two worlds came together and created something even grander. Rome was a conduit, a bridge, a melting pot. It took the Hellenistic culture and made it accessible to the vast territories of its empire. From the sun-baked deserts of Africa to the misty highlands of Britain, from the bustling markets of Asia Minor to the snowy peaks of the Alps, the echo of Hellenistic culture could be heard. The Roman Empire at its peak was a melting pot of cultures, a testament to the enduring legacy of the classical age. It wasn't just a political entity, it was a cultural phenomenon, 
a testament to the power of ideas and the enduring legacy of the classical age. The classical age may be long gone, but its influence is far from forgotten. This influential period, marked by the intellectual prowess of ancient Greece and the legislative might of Rome, has left an indelible imprint on the fabric of modern society. Let's start with philosophy. The classical age gave birth to philosophers like Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, whose teachings continue to guide our understanding of ethics, logic, and metaphysics. They encouraged critical thinking, a cornerstone of modern education and a vital tool in our everyday decision-making. Next, let's talk about democracy. It was in the bustling city-states of Greece where the concept of democracy, a system where citizens have a say in governance, first took root. Today, this principle is the bedrock of numerous nations around the globe, a testament to the enduring legacy of the classical age. Art and architecture from this era also play a prominent role in our world. The grandeur of Roman architecture with its arches, domes, and aqueducts has inspired countless modern structures. Simultaneously, Greek art with its emphasis on human form and emotion has shaped the way we perceive beauty and expression. Finally, the Roman law with its principles of justice and equality underpins many of our contemporary legal systems, protecting our rights and maintaining order in society. The echoes of the classical age still resonate today, shaping our world in countless ways. From the bustling city-states of ancient Greece to the sprawling Roman Empire, the classical age was a time of great innovation and cultural exchange. This era gifted us with the foundations of philosophy, democracy, art, and architecture. It spread the Hellenistic culture far and wide, forever shaping the fabric of our history, an enduring legacy that still resonates in our modern world. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the classical age. Like, comment, and subscribe to Cosmic Life Chronicles for more intriguing insights into our past.